No, I was just... Well, I start my lighting class tomorrow, and I was just looking at these. Good night. Good night. And good luck. everybody. Oh, uh, we have a new person in class today, Bob Lewis. I don't believe this. Let's get started anyway. Over the past weeks, we've studied several functions of lighting, illumination, angle, intensity, and distribution. Now we're ready to concentrate on the most important controllable property of light color. We're going to look at the color of the source, the function of the gel in filtering the light, and the effect of colored light on costumes, makeup, and sets. But first, let's review some basic facts. Now, this is a ghost light. Renee? Now, this is certainly never used in production, but what does it remind us of? Well, it's an example of general illumination. At least we can see what's going on. That's right. What else? Well, the light's just going everywhere. You have no control over it. In stage lighting, you have to control the light. Yes, you must have selective illumination to accomplish motivation, modeling, and mood. Well, well motivation is a form, <laughs> form of... On stage. Right. Well, lighting helps create the time and place of a play, and you can't accomplish that with the ghost light. Sam, you had something to say? Well, the opposite of them would be the hard-edged beam of an ellipsoidal spotlight. That's true. Now, you have control with an ellipsoidal. Renee, bring the 6x12 up full. Now, everybody, look at the flash. All right, Renee, put the color chart under the light. Now, what color is the light on the wall? Oh, it's a white light. That's right. Now, Renee, run the dimmer down. Now, watch. The light's starting to look yellow. That's right, because the voltage to the filament is changing. You see, when the dimmer is down, the color gets warmer or redder. When the dimmer is up, the color gets cooler or bluer. Now, of course, dimming is not a practical way to achieve a specific color. For that, you use color filters or gels. Um, for example, Renee, bring in the rose. Now watch. Now watch what happens to the color when the dimmer setting changes. Oh. Yeah, in other words, using the color on the dimmer, right? I mean, there's no color on the dimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lost. <laughs> want to hang everything as soon as possible so we can start focusing. Are you going to be ready for the tech run through next week? Relax. You'll be ready. Okay. I want you to run some cable to those instruments and make sure you tie it off, okay? All right. Okay, watch out. Okay. Ow! Thank you. Go on the side of the on that side, right? That was pretty funny in class yesterday. Not to me, it was it? You just transferred here, didn't you? Uh, I'm going to need at least a dozen of the blues, okay? And I may need about six of the pale gold for later on. Uh, here, here's the blues. We're going to need some more time for the pale gold. Uh. No problem. Thanks. Here you go, Josie. Thanks. What's your lighting project for class going to be? I started on a scene from Shaw, Arms in the Man. I love Arms in the Man. How about you? You got something picked out? Well, I'm in the dance group, so instead of a play, I'm going to light a dance. Well, lighting problems are different than in a play. Yeah, it'll be fun to try, I think. Are 
Are you ready for the light lab in Malvolio, Sam? Who's all play Malvolio? If you're late for class again, probably you. <laughs> no way, not me. Arms in the Man, Act One, the night in November. The ladies' bedchambers in a small town in Bulgaria. The room is lit by two candles. Through an open window, you can see a peak of the Balkan Mountains. Wonderfully white and beautiful in the starlit snow. <laughs> I assume you've all been working on your class lighting projects. I'd like to remind you of a few things. Don't just read the play. Study what the author is trying to express. Ask the question, how can lighting reinforce the author's ideas? It's your job to develop a lighting concept that enhances the meaning of the play or the musical or the dance. You could be lighting a rock band, but you still want your lighting to enhance the production. Now, we have a tremendous number of colors to work with, and we use these colors to interpret the world around us. But you have to open your eyes and look at the color that's out there. You should study all sources of light, natural and man-made. Look at the light of dawn, moonlight. Look at the sunset. If you watch the sky, you'll see a color palette that constantly changes. I want you to look at how color and shadow give shape to reality. Okay, Renee, are you ready? Okay, uh, act three, scene two, I'm gonna come out there to you. I'm beat. This is the first rest we've had in three days. Bring up dimmers number six and 12, please. What have you got on circuit 14? Here they come. Um, did you want us to run through our lines? No, can you just walk around slowly, please? Uh, now hold it right there. Thank you. I like it. I like it. Uh, can we do something about that rosy glow? Thanks. This one's a lot paler. Take a look. Uh, Renee, I gotta move ahead. It just takes a second. Do you have the pale gold? Okay, is it cut and mounted? Remove the uh, rose gel from lights number 31 through 37 on the second baton and put up the pale gold. Hey, Sam, what do you know about our sign for the light lab? What's to know? Did you read that scene yet with Malvolio? We got light in the light lab, you know. How's that? I like that much better. Uh, yeah, some to come back out. Ah, you want us to run our lines now? Run your lines. Why, then build me thy fortunes upon the basis of valor. There is no way but this, Sir Andrew. Will either of you bear me a challenge to him? Go, write it in a martial hand. Be cursed and be brief. It matters not how witty, so long as it be eloquent and full of invention. Now go. <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. Who volunteered? This is a light lab. It's a place where you can come to work with the equipment and experiment with color. In the light lab, you're able to approximate conditions which exist on stage. Renee? Last night's technical rehearsal showed us how colored lights affect costumes on stage. Malvolio's costume presents a very special challenge in lighting. Shakespeare specifically calls for cross garters and yellow stockings. In the light lab, we can experiment with different colors and dimmer levels in order to find out which colors enhance Malvolio's costume.
and which colors don't. Now, everyone will have a chance to collaborate and choose color. So, find someone you want to work with and let's get started. Here, try the straw, try the straw. But I think the light amber will really work best, Ramana. I'm going to take the dimmer down to five. Try this blue gel in that for now. Okay. Oh, look at his face. Okay, we can change it. Oh, this yellow is just too heavy. But the pale gold really works. Thank you, Sam. You can sit down in front if you like. I uh, think I'm ready to mingle now. <laughs> All right. Now, what we've done here shows you the importance of collaboration with a set designer, lighting designer, and costume designer. They work with colored materials just as you work with colored light. When you test your ideas together, the look of the entire production will begin to take shape. That way you'll avoid the unpleasant surprises which occur on stage when designers haven't communicated. Test your colors on the set renderings and costume swatches. Test and communicate. Next week we'll begin to look at your class projects. Lisa, you'll be up first. Lisa will be lighting a dance performance, followed by Sam. I believe Sam has something unique for us. Come on, Bob. I think it's a great idea. Just help me out. Say, man, I think it's a great idea, too. But I just got too much work as it is. This is an opportunity to light a rock band. How can you pass this up? Sam, have you even started a light plot yet? So come on. I'll show you the band. Remember, I'm lighting you from the floor, so don't, don't look, look at, at your, your feet. feet. <laughs> <laughs> Project and about the lighting choices that you made. Well, in the dance, I used light and color as the principal design elements. By using cool colors on one side and warm colors on the other, I was able to define the dancers' bodies and join the movement with the music. It really worked. And Sam, we're pretty impressed. How did you design your lighting? 
Well, you see, they're a high energy band. The music's full of action and emotion. So I used hot saturated colors like strong reds and warm blues. Act one, a night in November. Many designers feel that color is the essence of theater lighting. The room is lit by two candles. With color, you can recreate the real world on stage or invent a new one. Through an open window, you see snow-covered mountains. Be aware of color in the world around you. Make those visual images a part of your lighting design. Experiment with color. It's the easiest, cheapest thing to change. You're limited only by your imagination. Study what the author is trying to express. <laughs> okay, we can change it. Ask the question, how can lighting reinforce the author's ideas? Now what we've done here shows you the importance of collaboration. Test and communicate. communicate, communicate, communicate. Locking up for the night. Locking up? No, just came in to sweep. Here you are. We've been looking all over for you. We're supposed to look at the stage and go over your life plot. Let's go do it. <laughs> now, why don't we wait till tomorrow? Okay, here's what I want to do. Let's put these spots overhead with Roscoe Lux number 17. And I want a blue wash on the site. Will the colors in the opening scene set the tone for the show? Yeah, they will. What's the overall feeling in the scene, Bob? The stage should feel very warm with cool highlights. Remember, candles light the scene, but outside it's a clear, snowy night, and the window's open. Look, we'll try it. Like Hamilton says, it's easy to change. Yeah, there are several colors we could try. Yeah, this will look good. 